For a while now, I've been working on my minifigure scale A8T, and I think it's just time to make a video, get it out there, and show you what it looks like, specifically the scale to other vehicles. I only have about two, three hours before I have to leave for the next couple of days. So hopefully one take, we can get it done, and I think it's time to take a look. And again, just to put that emphasis on scale, this is the Lego set that they came out with in, oh, in 2019, 2020, the one that came with Ahsoka Tana and the 332nd Trooper. And here is a 1 to 45 minifigure scale version of the same ship, the A8T. And you will have to forgive me if I say AT-AT or ATTE. I've been getting all these names confused as of recent, but the size of it compared to the Lego scale is massive. I mean, it's at least, what, double the size in terms of each of the dimensions. I think the back bit of the A8T was actually a bit too long on the official LEGO model. And you might notice my version is missing the head here, the top bit, the turret, if you will, of this absolute tank. And that is because the LEGO version is mini figure scale and also quite hard to pop off. But if we put the official Lego A8T head onto the custom one that I built, you can see it adds a stud to the back of the model. I think we can get rid of the base of it now. You've seen just how big this model is, but it adds a stud to the back here. And also from front on, adds a stud, maybe a stud and a bit to each side of the turret because in universe the turret doesn't stick over the front which it does by quite a bit i think if you were to keep this a lego model you could probably remove these last two pieces and still have it so you can equip a blaster in the middle but this is minifigure scale you can see it rocks a little bit and i have added let me get another piece i have added to the bottom this little towel that sticks out to sort of catch it but i think it just needs that one extra piece to stop it rocking, and there we go. We've just fixed it live on camera. Well, you probably saw a cut to that. But this model isn't just a pretty decent looking model. I do have to mention, because I'm sure there'll be some comments about it, the sides here, they do slightly bulge in the Clone Wars, but they do also seem to go back inwards afterwards. The perfect piece here would be a cars bonnet from the Lego City line, which they're slowly steering away from and making the cars a bit more brick built. But I don't have any in light bluish gray. I think I should own one, but I don't have one for the other side. So I've tried to round off the bottom instead. And of course we've got the little engine bit at the back, but there are a few play features. We've got this ramp at the back, which will open. I'm pretty sure we see the ramp open in universe when I think like Grievous is in one of these or something like that. But that ramp does actually lock down as well. And that goes all the way up covering the back. You can just see it at the side there. Now you can see it. This ramp goes all the way down, all the way up. And I'll reveal the interior in just a second because we also have the play feature on top, which does fit a B1 battle droid inside. And if you didn't notice that, there are a few other things like that. Be sure to check out my review of the official A8T set. But for now, we're gonna tuck the driver back in because there's not only one, not two, not three, but four B1 battle droids in the A8T, which by the looks, you do get about three or four of these in an A8T in universe. And the other three are hidden inside. But to show you, I'll probably have to pop this whole thing off. And you can see on the inside, we not only have the pilot driving it, but we have two other B1s reloading the laser turret on top and perhaps just planning other strategic things. You can probably also get a better look of the ramp going down at the back. There you go. You can see just through here, there is a little gap straight through. And these chairs are removable if you did want to access the droid inside. Slight, very slight illegal technique, perhaps holding that two by two in place, but that's just to make the droid not seem as if it was floating and a nice chunky backrest for them to rest their mechanical components because if it was too thin, it'd surely snap under the pressure. Now the pilot does also have a control panel 
on the front bit here. And if you would like instructions for this as a base of building your own, just to get the sizes and the measurements without having to do all the math yourself. Hopefully when I return, I can make some sort of instructions for this. And perhaps I can even add little details like the car's bonnet in a version two. I'll definitely be upgrading this in the future, that is for sure. And I'd also like to take a look at the weapons on the side here. There are so many different versions and artworks of the AAT, pretty much wherever they're included, whether it's a picture in a book, which I'd also like to say I have made some custom stickers. I've blown up the official Lego versions for the logo on the back and also added these, I assume there's some sort of engines and you've got some repulsor engines just behind them or underneath the ship, just on the front with stickers from one of the old Lego sets. Again, blown up a bit to scale to match the stickers on the back. The base of this is absolutely massive. And the reason I am kind of liking how square it is, is because if I was to leave it there, it looks like it is squaring up to the camera. You've got the turrets straight out like shoulders, and then you've just got this absolute block of a body and it's sort of warming on me after a while. Everywhere this AAT appears in Canon, it has something different about it. And the biggest difference I found was actually on the arms of the ship, these turrets here. As you can see, my turrets have, well, an extra turret on the side compared to Legos. Legos go with just the two turrets. But the bottom one is a double turret in itself. And I could use a binoculars piece, but as that's used for the droid car, it didn't look like it fit too well on the AAT. Just because of the size of the AAT, it comes across very small and just looks like the one. So I've doubled that up on the bottom. And like you saw before, this just connects to a double-ended pin with the axle modified bit on the side. In fact, there are a lot of different hinge pieces just to get all the angles. Down at the front here, we've got another little accent to the ship just to cover some of the bits from underneath, which most of this base has been built using hinges. We've got a few different slopes, which I've angled each uniquely to make them line up with each other because they are at a different angle of slope. And you can see plenty of detailing along not only the side, but also around the back just to Copy that level of detail you see in Battlefront and even in some of the official LEGO models. I think this AAT would definitely be a great UCS set to get. And I've said that before on the channel. I've said that quite a few times with ships like this that are in that between scale. The A-Wing was a ship they blew up and seen it in LEGO stores. I'm pretty sure it was about this size, the UCS A-Wing. And even the TIE Interceptor, they've blown up to like four times minifigure scale. But I'd like to get a specific line of UCS sets that is minifigure scale. And they would have to give their own minifigure scale, whether it be 145, whether it be 130, which is another popular minifigure scale in the LEGO Star Wars community. But I'd really be interested to see what LEGO would do with minifigure scale, or perhaps the UCS ships are and the TIE Interceptor and A-Wing do scale to each other. That's something I will be looking into in perhaps a future video here on the channel because I have already covered play sets, but UCS sets would be very interesting. Anyway, that is everything I think about this UCS AAT that I could cover in a video like this. Again, if you do want instructions for it, let me know in the comments and when I'm back, I will start working on those for you and check out all the other videos on screen. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. And may the bricks be with you always.